Recent technological advances are now letting small municipalities enjoy the same sophisticated pump monitoring and control capabilities as their larger urban counterparts. A case in point is Prestonsburg, Kentucky, with a population of about 3,300 along the Big Sandy River. These new technologies help the city solve long-standing problems at a critical lift station. The Riverside Station, the city's largest, was built in 1961 and was placing heavy demands on maintenance crews. Patrick Burke is Prestonsburg's wastewater supervisor. The pumps were getting old, uh, it's, it's taking a lot of maintenance time, pumps were clogging up, there's a lot of garbage that was getting hung up those pumps that's causing, you know, failures and, and discharges. The station's pumps were also shutting down unexpectedly due to an unreliable electric feed from the local electric utility. To prevent sewage overflow into the adjacent river, the pumps cycled on and off very frequently, every 10 to 15 minutes on average, putting mechanical stress on the system. We have seal failures, the events got to winding breakdowns on our pumps, and a lot of wear on our impellers. For a solution, Burke turned to Livingston, Tennessee-based Wascon and Representative Jonathan Cummings, who suggested that the city upgrade the lift station with intelligent demand-based pump technology. Taking all these problems in and issues that we had to overcome, I chose the Grunfuss SL1 pump. Cummings recommended a pair of 7.5 horsepower, 1760 RPM Grunfuss SL1 pumps with solids handling S-tube impellers. Designed to handle unscreened sewage, effluent, and large volumes of surface water in municipal applications, the SL1 pump series was the ideal solution. The durable SL1 pumps are designed to pass solids up to four inches and operate reliably under poor and fluctuating voltage conditions that have plagued the Riverside Station. Assembled in Illinois, the Grunfuss SL1 pumps offer great hydraulic efficiency without compromising flow. The impeller has no edges or cutting functions that can get worn and fail over time. There's less clogging and maintenance. After the Grunfuss upgrade was complete, Burke's crew reduced service calls by 65%. They went from daily crisis to weekly check-ins at the station. With the municipality like Prestonsburg with a short staff and a small budget in the wastewater department, this control system has saved the utility a lot of money from just wasted manpower at the pump station. The new submersible pumps are easily lifted out of the pit for maintenance via guide rails. This system is much safer than having to send a worker down a cramped 30-foot wet well. The Grunfuss system provides advanced electronics including predictive pump management control and monitoring. In this station, the Grunfuss CU362 controller works with a transducer to accurately manage the pumps on and off states. To address the city's fluctuating electricity patterns, Grunfuss offers the MP204 motor protector, which continuously monitors voltage, pump current, power and insulation resistance. If there's an unacceptable variance in any of these levels, the system can be programmed to automatically shut the pump down to reduce the risk of damage. Another key advantage of the system is secure internet-based monitoring, diagnostics, and pump management through the Grunfuss Remote Management, known simply as GRM. The Grunfuss Remote Management takes all the information from the pump station and sending all that data to a web-based monitoring system. Burke and his crew can remotely access the data logger and directly input system changes, change kickoff points, turn the pumps on and off, and address any number of problems. You can change different set points at your pump station through your cell phone or even at your computer at your office. If sensor thresholds are exceeded or a pump controller reports an alarm, a text message and email are instantly sent to the employees on duty. GRM's condition-specific alarms tell you why there is a problem. Unlike some systems, supervisors using GRM know whether to dispatch a mechanic or an electrician to the station. Now I'm able to sit fiscally at my desk and look at the run times that's on that station, look at the powers coming in, and if you see a variance in that, then I can send one of my technicians out. Since their installation, the pumps and software have operated flawlessly and yielded a 12-month payback. After a year's worth of service, about 2,200 hours of runtime with no failures, the utility reports a dramatic reduction in energy use. Electrical savings paid for the pumps in the first year of operation. The success of the Riverside Station upgrade sold Burke on the SL1 wastewater pumps and monitoring system. Life would be a whole lot easier if we had this technology on all our 80-some stations that we had in our system.